Top of the morning. Time for another video. I'm still uh, on the track of trying to do something that matches my DNA. For now, the name of the game is making videos and getting them out. I always thought my thing was music and to a point it still is. And that's going to be handy for video production. I can make some of my own music or sound effects to throw in. I'm a little bit skeptical, is that the right word, of my ability to keep this going. Like a lot of times I, I have these hot sparks for things that I want to do and they fizzle out and die. And then I'm left with being back at the drawing board trying to figure out what to do. There's no way to figure it out just by sitting around and thinking about it. That doesn't work. I gotta get up and do something. And I don't have to go nuts and spend a lot of money trying to figure it out. Sometimes I want to, sometimes I do. But it's been explained to me that you don't need to spend a whole ton of money or go out and get a bunch of special things to accomplish whatever you're going to be rad at. So, I keep that in mind. Um, the quality, detail-oriented part of me wants to, to do the best I can with the best things available. Sometimes that makes or breaks a hobby too, or a side business or whatever. If you don't have the right tools to play with, it can be extra discouraging. My son, he had a crappy bicycle, just a hand-me-down that we patched together and kept running. And he would ride along with me and my daughter, which also got a pretty nice bicycle. And he'd get tired and discouraged and didn't want to go. So we finally bought him a good one. And now he goes and he wants to ride it he gets that little monkey on his back and he's got to go ride his bike and that's cool that's what happens when you spend enough money on the tools and toys that you need to, to do what you're going to do but it's another one of those things that it needs a balance you got to guide yourself on that one I've spent a lot of money on musical production equipment and sold a lot of it for pennies on the dollar because I wasn't using it. Felt like it was all going to waste. And then later I felt like, man, I shouldn't have sold any of that. My final thought is it just all depends on honesty. So if I am honestly thinking that I want to do something and all the evidence is there that it's the correct thing. And when I do it, it gives me energy and just you know, if the, if the divine control around it lets it happen and brings special things to it. Like I guess for an example, what I'm trying to say there is I was just having fun. I made a song on the computer, very simple. And uh, I decided that I would put it on MySpace, I think. And I was pretty nervous about that, pretty shy. But anyway, I put that on there and it caught the attention of somebody that was the next level up from me. And they asked me if they could remix it. And man, I was of course totally excited and totally let them do it. And I didn't really get royalties for that, but I got 100% use of the finished product so you got to allow some kind of room for the special something like that I guess maybe I'm very fortunate that I had that happen but I believe that if you're in the right place you're gonna get those right reassurances and that's gonna propel you to move forward you know then after that I went through the whole music production school and got a 
certificate of completion and just learned a bunch of things and I made some wrong choices with my with my personal life and uh, I kind of derailed the whole thing but now here we are 10 years later and I'm right back where I left off had I not taken the misstep my misstep was uh, through alcohol abuse fast forward all the way back to now I'm not drinking anymore I'm working on four and a half years right now and all these natural things that are always still in there they're coming back to the surface so that's my other reason for doing this I don't want to be who I'm not anymore I want to know who I should be I want to be that to the best of my ability I want to share a message by doing that so that other people can maybe avoid the side road and uh, I want us all to contribute our part to the world that's why we're here you know you might as well and be honest with yourself on what that is how you can do it what you're able to do ask for some help where you need it I ask for help from people, but I also have spiritual help. I ask God for help. God helps. And then I try to remember to say thank you. I've rambled a bunch, but I can't help myself. I want to share what I know. It's done me a lot of good. And even though I don't feel that great with what I'm doing just yet, I have these little shots of like I'm moving in the right direction. It's like, I guess, going to a gym for the first time. You, you do it and you're like, what did I do? I feel terrible and tired and sore. And you just keep going anyway. And eventually it gets, it gets better. That's where I'm at now. I'm at the sore, tired, don't know what I'm doing. Why am I doing this kind of stage with video, but Man, I'm just going to hang in there. You following along helps me hang in there. So I appreciate that you're there. Um, this won't work without you. That's a deep part of it. And thank you. I hope I give you something worth listening to. I hope what has helped me helps you. Thanks.